Hello YouTube. Today's video is going to be more of a uh, leisurely off script type of video in which we will be exploring this 2012 iMac Mini. Mac Mini. Yeah, this is definitely an iMac. Um, that is the screen right there. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a RAM upgrade on this with upgrading it from four gigabytes to the maximum 16 gigabytes they can support, which is gonna be a big boost. This isn't an i7 or anything, but this isn't the lowest i5 either. This is going to be a much better work machine after this, because this is what I use for all videos, with the exception of this one, at least for a microphone recording, which I've got the 2011 MacBook Pro, which you can't see, and it might be causing some sound interference due to its fans, but anyways, this is going to be a much better work machine now, because I've got this now. These are two 8 gigabyte DDR3 DIMMs. This is 1600 megahertz RAM, and Upgrading from 4 to 16 is huge. I mean, the fact that I can even do stuff with 4 gigabytes on this is already insane, but 16, that's going to boost a lot of performance ca capabilities for that i5. Let's uh, dive into this packaging, shall we? Bring out uh, this bad boy. And uh, don't ask why it's called that. I just got bored with a label maker one day, and that's why I decided to name it. You know what? Good idea to move that. So inside here, it's gonna have probably invoice papers, but the important stuff we want are these. These are two uh, Kingston. RAM DIMMs, and this will be a very nice upgrade for this machine. Now, if if this was an i7, and it also had two drives, because these, I believe, can support two, two and a half inch drives. Uh, if the main drive was a SSD, and then the other one was like a terabyte or a couple terabyte of uh, storage as the secondary drive, that would be amazing, but this is sadly just an i5. And one day maybe I'll find an i7 because the 2012 Max are one of the better ones because 2014 was kind of a crummy year whenever everything started becoming you know you can't open this up and then with the newer the newer MacBooks you can't really open it up and you know everything's soldered which is kind of unfortunate but that's why these machines are pretty sought after nowadays but Right now, to open these up, there's going to be some tape, but sh shouldn't be a problem, but this is the easiest disassembly that you could possibly do. I mean, you don't even need a screwdriver for this. It's just, the, that's it. It's done. And sorry if it seems like rambling, but that's what it's going to be like if it's going to be freestyle. So inside this, it's actually pretty clean I have opened this up before just to you know check it out and the fan is pretty much spotless I, there's not a lot of dust here considering how much work I do on this but yeah once we uh, get these open I will be popping those out Fresh RAM dims. Now at least this isn't DDR2, which would be not so not really that great. But DDR3 is better than 
well, DDR2 and anything else for at least this machine. Anyways, now this is basically a MacBook Pro in a shell without the uh, monitor, keyboard, trackpad. So the RAM is also laptop style too, and it pops out just like that. Pretty basic, but let's get these two gigabyte sticks out of here. And let's pop in the brand new eight gigabyte sticks. Boom. That's it. It's it's done. I mean, that's the upgrade. And thanks for watching. And you know, stick around for. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, I did take Cinebench scores of this, and I will show a little uh, mon or sped up montage type of thing. And with the four gigabytes that these had. This scored a 565. Hopefully, this might even get to the. Uh, I, I doubt this will get to the thousand range, but you know maybe it'll boost it by a couple hundred, and uh, we'll have to look at the new Geekbench. So I will be back once this is plugged in again, and uh, we can actually see what's going on. Okay, so I've got the Mac book booting up now, and. I forgot to mention, the, along with the 565 Cinnabon score, it took nearly 9 minutes for it to fully render. And now, as we wait for this to boot, we'll check that the system recognizes the 16 gigabytes, and I will do another Geekbench score, and maybe have a little time-lapse footage of uh, both of them at the same time and see how long it'll take and yes i am using the ios 8 5c in several of these videos now and i'm using this one as a, a stopwatch okay so now we are booted up and let's check about this mac and see if it actually recognizes this and look at that it does show 16 gigabytes is installed. I will be doing a Cinebench score and we'll compare the two scores. 565 versus whatever 16 gigabytes has to offer. Okay, so RAM gave us a score of 569. That's a whole four points of improvement. And it still took almost nine minutes. I guess a i7 2012 Mac Mini would definitely be better, but 16 gigabytes of RAM is still going to help a lot. I mean, this, these scores are, are pretty, they're kind of low, but you know, with more RAM means that There'll be less of a buffering and other things whenever uh, using Final Cut and whatnot. I'm still glad that I, I was able to do this upgrade because it's very easy to do and it's going to help in the long run. It's not a uh, quote screamer quote, but it's still going to be a really nice uh, addition to the Mac Mini, and if you guys enjoyed these sort of uh, rambling on
type of freestyle videos. I will try to do some more. I was thinking about doing more uh, the, of the uh, inbox videos with the packages, you know, kind of like this. Maybe do them freestyle because I, I, I don't really know how well of a script would benefit those types of videos, but you know, I mean, I tried with the first one and it seemed pretty well. Uh, granted, a lot of the footage was pre recorded, but you know, this way it's kind of more live and uh, you know, just doing messing around with fun stuff like these and getting to see the uh, stuff like the iOS 8. 5c again that's pretty much it for now and uh thanks for watching